Monsters and Memories, a surprising addition to the MMO market. Upcoming MMORPG in the classic style of EverQuest. It's basically EverQuest HD, low poly characters, and same EverQuest feel that made the game truly incredible and better than all these new fails. Monsters and Memories recently had a stress test with hundreds of people in the same starting area. Looked like you're outside of Freeport in EverQuest, running out through the desert, fighting snakes and bats, skeletons. Got all the fantasy races, humans, gnomes, orcs, ogres. Monsters and Memories started as a discussion between MMO fans during a series of live streams about what it would be like to create a niche, small smaller budget indie game in the style of a classic fantasy MMO utilizing modern day tools and development practices. You go to their website, they state their belief is that by focusing on a very specific audience and core tenants and feature set, a modest but compelling MMO RPG can be developed without spending tens of millions of dollars and do well enough to maintain an ongoing live service. The game certainly captures the memories of playing EverQuest. I had never played originally when it came out. However, I recently spent more time on the P99 EverQuest private server with the, like the HD texture packs for it. The spell effects look very similar. They're really doing a surprisingly good job with a small team, and it's definitely something to keep on your radar. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. I really appreciate it, and it helps incredibly a lot playing through monsters of memories on the stress test you can see the basic ui standard animations and nothing jaw-breaking revolutionary however the challenge is what's revolutionary apparently nowadays breaking the boredom of easiness with every new fail mmo being released fans of EverQuest will find familiar features such as scribing your spells, enemies that can possibly defeat you right from level 1. I definitely like this. While the visuals are not revolutionary, they really capture a high definition look to the what would be a classic feeling game. Now, we need to come up with a new term for all these. Instead of calling it just a classic, gotta have something to compel or catch the interest of new players. Because you just hear like old game, classic style. It's definitely not something that's going to make people's heads turned. This should be a separate term for a MMORPG with actual players teaming up with other players to increase their level and power while battling tough enemies that definitely have the ability to defeat them if they're not using proper tactics versus other MMO games where it's just other people running around which you can just ignore. The Monsters Memory team is going for a low poly hand painted look which should maintain the sense of fantastic realism while captivating the aura of adventure. Goal is to evoke the paintings, book covers, and illustrations of the classic fantasy artists that made everybody love the genre. What are some of their design tenets, you may ask? Nostalgia, familiarity, timelessness, highly referential of classic fantasy themes, tropes, stories, media, and 70s, 80s rock album covers. An art style that leverages the modern engine, but allows the imagination to fill in the blanks. World with places, races, and classes that feels familiar yet unpredictable. Simple, deliberate gameplay simple streamlined strategic combat reminiscent of classic era MMOs. Slower gameplay and progression pacing that is actually a feature. Persistence and ongoing involvement with the world and other players pays off over time. Community, identity, and reliance. Adventuring and community are the heart of the game and focus on single group activities and social experiences. Classes and skills are designed to feel familiar with distinctive identities and interdependence. Even solo play ties into a greater communal purpose. World and starting city designs focus on longevity and long-term utility in order to maintain social friction and mitigate generational stratification. 
Monsters in Memory World, living, layered, and mysterious. A focus on scheduled and ever-changing content and NBC behaviors, using time, seasonality, factions, and relationships to maintain an ongoing sense of mystery and discovery. Many systems are stripped of hand-holding and overt explanation. Players get to find out for themselves, ask others for help, and the sense of accomplishment at overcoming the challenge. Systems added over time focus on providing discoverable and unique ways to interact with the world and other players. While Monsters Memories recently had a public stress test and it's not even a alpha or pre-alpha, it's just a stress test, surprisingly players are able to play all the classes races definitely shows what a small team can do focusing on what's important challenge combat socially innovated gameplay definitely looking forward to monsters and memories thanks for watching make sure you subscribe